I grew up in Jerusalem. I was born in Palestine before 1948. I met uh, Brother Eugene Bilodeau. He was a Canadian Franciscan. Uh, in the 67, my brother lived in Jerusalem with his wife, and they had a child during the war. And Brother Eugene, you know, tried to help them, and the child died. And he's the only one who was willing to take the child and bury him. Uh, so it, it was, uh, you know, he, the Franciscans always help. They, they kind of, um, they're not afraid of going beyond the rules. Brother Eugene, I called him Papa G. I was nine years old, I was going back from school, back home, and uh, saw him and I knew he was lost. And so I told him, oh, I know where your convent is. Just follow me. It's close to my home. So we became friends, you know. Every morning I would go to church and I would sit next to him. He taught me how to pray. He taught me, you know, what Franciscans do best is to love, to be patient. <laughs> and I think that's the mission of the Franciscans in Jerusalem, is to help the people. And people have to remember that in Jerusalem, Christians are there. Uh, Palestinians are leaving. The Christians are leaving the Middle East. They're not supported, there are no jobs, um, it's difficult. So we want to keep a Christian kernel in the Middle East, all over the Holy Land. If you're Christian, uh, don't forget, if you come here and visit and worship, you're, you have like kind of, you've touched a little bit the Holy Land. This is the place that, cons that inspires you to go to the Holy Land. The Franciscans have programs that uh, help you think about uh, the Holy Land, about the archaeological findings, about uh, the, the places where Christianity started. And they don't only care about the stones, they care about the people. And so that's, I think, why I care about the monastery, that's why I care about the Franciscans. Uh, and Papa Eugene, you know, he became the godfather of my husband. He became the grandpa for my children. I couldn't go to his uh, funeral and we gave him a eulogy here at this monastery and my kids came and my family came and it was special to have a place that I can call a little bit of Jerusalem in the middle of Washington DC. So when I come here, I feel like I'm back home. <laughs>